Hi, this is Sudhi Panchanda from Quite Easily Done. Welcome to another beginner's project. Like any other beginner's project, we again would be using a sensor along with a relay board to try and achieve a level of automation for something that we see in our day to day life. This time we would try and automate our lights. In one of our projects, we did automations of light using motion sensors. This time we would try and automate our lights using light intensity. In Know Your Boards, we looked at a board which uh, was the light intensity sensor which would detect if the light intensity is below or above a given threshold. And we would be using that same board to try and automate our, our light so that when the light intensity is low, our light bulb switches on. Uh, this can be used in your gardens or any outdoor lights or um, my table lamp that I use while working. If the light intensity is low, I would want my table lamp to be switched on. But what we would be doing this time uh, as a demo would be trying to switch on an LED bulb, uh, which can be replaced by any electrical appliance, uh, an outdoor light, uh, bigger decoration light for Diwali also. And we would be using the relay board, which was the light intensity detector, which had the LDR and gave us two outputs, which is low light intensity detection and high light intensity detect detection. And we were able to um, set the threshold using the potentiometer over here. So with the potentiometer, we decide the light intensity level and the two outputs will tell us is if the light intensity is below this threshold or above it. Let me assemble this board uh, along with the relay boards, the entire circuit and show you the demonstration. Okay, here we have assembled the entire circuit uh, for a light detected light detector with the LED bulb that you were talking about. So this is our uh, circuit board, the light detector. It has the power supply over here coming up from my relay board, the 5 volt supply. The black one is the ground and the red one is the 5 volt positive. Which is connected the output the low light detection output is what goes into the input of the relay board so if right now as it says the green light is indicating that there is sufficient light so the relay the output of the detector is zero which goes to the relay and which gives me uh, the off led bulb right now now over here we have is the ac co input coming in from my switch board this is the output, the NC output that we always connect to our appliance. That's a very simple circuit. To demonstrate it to you right now, I've set a threshold so that my, when I have my table lamp on right now and with the table lamp on the, I would say it's a high light. Uh, it's the light is above the threshold and I've set the threshold that if I switch off my table lamp, the light intensity on the sensor would go below the threshold that I want and would switch on my LED bulb. So let me show that. So as soon as I switched off my table lamp, the light coming up on the LDR over here went below the threshold that I had set using the potentiometer. I get a red light saying the light intensity is low, which gives an, a logic one at the output over here, which triggers the relay and my light gets switched on. Now, what I can also do is in the normal case uh, for my outdoor lighting, I don't want my lights to get switched on even when the room light is on. Like this is decent enough light for an outdoor, right? Uh, evenings or early morning times, I don't want the light to be switched on. I can change my threshold to say this is sufficient light. So you saw I changed the potentiometer, changed the threshold saying this is high. Reduce the threshold. Uh, to say that this is not the low light uh, and so you see the output now has become zero now if I switch off my room's light and create darkness over here that would again trigger a low light scenario giving us an logic high output on the sensor so let's do that so you see because it's dark and it's below the new threshold also the light intensity in the room right now is below the new threshold also and I got a, a high on the output and the trigger, the relay triggered the lights again. So if I switch on my lights again, um, again, the light is above the threshold and the 
LED bulb switches off. This is how you can use it in the outdoors very easily. So that is automated light using the light intensity sensor quite easily done. Please write to us in the comment section below for any queries or any feedback that you might have. We would love to hear from you. Thank you very much.